Today we're going to be testing a uh, 22T, Hybrid Goat 22T, and uh, what's nice about this 22T is it actually has a uh, RTA on it, which is the robotic trimmer arm attachment. Uh, we're at a local home, the property owner's being pretty nice and letting us uh, take care of our lawn fur doing this test. And uh, what's nice about this property is it has a lot of obstacles throughout the yard that'll uh, really give a good demonstration of the 22T's maneuverability. You can see we have some, uh, like a tree, some rocks in the middle, there's like a flower bed area, and so uh, it should be a pretty good test. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. Right now the RTA is off. places that the uh, tracks normally can't reach, like up against the wall, I'll demonstrate that right here. Well, I got close, to make sure I don't attack the guards. They are guards, so protect the wall and the blade. But you really want to have a good visual on like this. You've got to do a nice little here. You can adjust the cutting blades to uh, be a little bit closer, a little farther away from the track. Uh, we may have a little line cutting because we have it a little bit more on the outside position right now. Uh, but you can move them in and there won't be any kind of line in the grass. So far looks pretty good. actually uh, pretty good and it's, it's pretty new for us. Uh, we added a lot of protection, added a lot of fuses and uh, other uh, components to kind of protect the machine in case of any kind of power spike or surge. Let's say something got bound into the trim arm blade or the uh, linear actuator got bound up when you're trying to raise and lower the cut height. Uh, the idea is that we want these machines to last many, many years. And some of our machines have been in the field for 10 years just for regular maintenance. We want to keep it that way. And so, just you know, keep it going by. By adding all these safety features, we, uh, we help ensure that the machine will last years and years, and that this isn't a type of equipment that you're going to replace anytime soon. It helps keep it so the uh, blade won't cut anything that you wouldn't want it to, like a tree or in this case brick. But it does have its limitations, so be careful. Okay, I can get this is just 
I have the front pretty much all cleaned up. We'll uh, go ahead and get towards the obstacle area. Go on this side of the tree. The tree doesn't have that much gra grass growing immediately next to it, so we don't have to worry about that. from the uh, flower bed on the left, we have this rock in the uh, right. It's like you see 